Hi. Um, here, I'm uh, going to teach you, hopefully, Christian kind of integrate habits of science with your on your path. Um, the expression, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Well, dealing with your habits is a way to strengthen you know, the flesh, and you can change your habits to aid the spirit. Um, I talked about, about it a little bit in my arrows video, but basically every habit you have goes through four stages. The cue, the craving, the response, and the reward. So the cue is that thing that lets you know. So your alarm goes off in the morning. All of a sudden you have a craving. Oh, let me go have my morning coffee. So then you go, you make your coffee, and then you start drinking it, you get your reward. You have your coffee, you get your caffeine pickup. <clears throat> this is how God made us to learn. So, you have habits regardless. That's how God made you to learn. So, by knowing this and by working with these, the way you learn, you can learn new things and unlearn old things. So what you're trying to do, any bad habits you're trying to break, you use the same thing to kind of guide you to the new behaviors. So if I want to go to bed reading my Bible at night instead of being on my phone, <clears throat> what I would do, so for a cue, you want to make the thing you want obvious and the thing you don't want, you want to be not obvious. So, I would put my Bible next to my bed so I could see it. It's very obvious. Or even right on my pillow, I'd leave my phone outside the bedroom or on the other side of the bedroom. <clears throat> the craving, make it attractive. So learning more about God, whatever your goal is. This craving, um, it's about anticipation. So what do you anticipate you're going to get from reading the Bible at night? So this is about uh, making it attractive. What's going to be your reward versus unattractive? So the phone, a good uh, habit is put it on the grayscale. Take the color out. That makes it less attractive. Your response is the actual behavior. You want this to be easy. You want it to be easy for you to start reading the Bible at night. So put it right on your pillow. Go there. Just start reading. I already have the passage picked out. Or, you know, just, okay, I'm going to flip to a page and start reading. Just read a little bit. Versus hard. That's the putting the phone on the other side of the room turning off your Wi-Fi, whatever you got to do. <clears throat> and then the reward, making this satisfying. <clears throat> so do you feel satisfied after reading the Bible? <clears throat> when you, if you, if you, you know, check your phone, if you, if you fall asleep with your phone again, the feeling of, oh, I missed out on reading the Bible, I'm not... You know, I didn't get closer to God tonight, you know. And just keep track of this in a journal of some kind. That helps too, measuring progress. Oh, how many times this week did I fall asleep reading the Bible instead of on my phone? And then just keep that going. So this is basic science of habits that can you use to be used to strengthen the flesh and aid of the spirit. What does the spirit want you to do? Go to bed early, go to bed late. Wake up early, wake up late. Spend hours on your phone, scrolling. Spend hours watching TV or reading the Bible, praying, fellowship. This, this is how you, in a natural environment, the one where... God created us to live in, this all has happens naturally. 
Whereas now in our, you know, world now, our modern world, uh, there's a lot of distractions, and this is actually used against you by, you know, advertising, food companies, uh, you know, uh, just everything is so convenient and easy that, that, that you actually have to <laughs> re, you know, take over these meds, become conscious of the mechanism, and then... You know, um, so if you don't want to go to certain websites on your phone, find a way to block them, find a way to make them unattractive, find a way to make it hard and not obvious. That's really the, it's already unsatisfying after the fact. Think about that. Anticipate the after, the, the, the guilt, the conviction. So I'm going to be talking a lot about habits on this channel. I think that that's really the way forward. Uh, habits, minimalism, and uh, how you can use those practices to get closer to God. Alright, God bless.